What's going on, lads and lasses? Welcome back to 100% Mag. So, I hope you're all staying safe and well out there. And, of course, I come at you today with some massive news on Bruno's injury. Uh, this is a big update, and it's coming from, of course, uh, reports from Craig Hope. Uh, Keith Downey and of course Bruno himself on his own Twitter account uh, of course Craig Hope said that it's not as serious as it looked of course with him going off uh, it's half time in Tiaz uh, being consoled of course by Joel Linton uh, but it now looks like due to scans uh, it's now going to be of course weeks rather than months which is fantastic but still could mean that he could miss the game against Palace coming up but uh, it does mean that there may be a possibility of him playing in the game against Southampton, uh, the first of two legged semi final games against Southampton in the Caribo Cup. But according to reports from Bruno himself, uh, which he put out on Twitter, uh, on his own Twitter account, of course, uh, came out with a statement to the fans saying, Faith moves mountains. I'll be ready faster than ever. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that means that he is ready for the game against Palace coming up. Uh, but even if he is, you know, slightly ready for that game, I wouldn't want Eddie Howe to rush him back. Uh, you know, he's rolled his ankle here. We don't need him to be out for longer. Uh, you know, we need him to be playing for us. But we don't want to risk him, uh, you know, if... He's going to aggravate that more and end up being out for a longer period of time. Would need to play it safe here. Yeah? So, you know, if it is touch and go on whether he's not 100% fit to play in the game against Palace, then I say, would, you know, put him on the bench, maybe bring him on for a little bit in the game to give him a little bit of a run around on it. But I don't want to see. You know, us going out there and risking Bruno being out longer because we want to play him in the game against Palace. Yes, the game against Palace is important because it means another three points. And especially since we are only one point behind Manchester City in the Premier League as we sit in third and they sit in second. Uh, but we also need to focus on this Caribo Cup because this is a fantastic chance for us to get our first cup uh, you know, since we won the Intercities Fairs Cup in 1969 and were first domestic trophy since 1955 when we won the FA Cup as well. You know, so it's been 47 years since Newcastle were in the League Cup final. The last time we made it there was 1976. Uh, of course, we ended up losing to Manchester City, who are not in the competition uh, anymore after being knocked out by Southampton. So hopefully, you know, uh, Bruno will be fully fit to take on Southampton on January the 24th coming up uh, and then of course uh, for that 31st of January game as well uh, but we do not want to be risking Bruno you know picking up a major injury because we've rushed him back into the side I've got the utmost confidence in Eddie Howe that he will make the right decision here uh, on whether to play Bruno or not in the game against Palace. Personally, in my opinion, I wouldn't uh, do it, you know, unless he's 100% fit. Uh, but moving away from the Bruno talk, we will talk, of course, about uh, Newcastle's under-18s being in action tonight at St. James's Park. Uh, they are taking on Arsenal's uh, team, of course, in the fourth round of the FA Youth Cup. Uh, that was meant to be played at Whitley Park, uh, Benton, of course, but now it is being played at St. James's Park because of the weather conditions up here in the northeast. With, of course, uh, the snowfall that has happened, it uh, means that, of course, that ground is unplayable. But St. James's Park, of course, uh, is well and truly capable of being played uh, at, of course, with our under soil heat and so. That game will now take place. It's in James's Park instead. The under 18s, uh, Graham Carrick's side, taking on Jack Wilshire's Arsenal uh, under 18s in the FA Youth Cup fourth round. Hopefully, the lads can come away with the win tonight against Arsenal at St. James's Park. It's a seven o'clock kickoff for that game. So, if you want to get along to St. James's Park for that game, I suggest you do go support the lads, uh, show them. Uh, all the support they need to make it through 
into the next round of the FA Youth Cup. If you can't make it, however, due to travel constraints or other constraints, then you can watch it on the NUFC TV website on nufc.co.uk. Uh, they will be streaming the game live for anybody that wants to, of course, watch that game. And hopefully, like I say, uh, the under-18 lads can make it through into the next round of the FA Youth Cup. But moving away from that now, we will go on to talk about, of course, transfer news. Uh, and there is news circulating around uh, from Puke Edwards that Newcastle are looking at quite a few players from Chelsea, according to Edwards. Uh, he's saying that Newcastle are looking at Conor Gallagher, Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Uh, we're also apparently looking at Hakim Zayic as well. Uh, now, I would say because this is coming from Puke Edwards, take it with a pinch of salt. This guy really does like to make up uh, stories. He really does like to wind up us Newcastle United fans. He's even said it himself, you know, that he loves to wind up us Newcastle United fans. Eddie Howe knows that as well because Eddie Howe has been pinpointing them out in their uh, press conferences, you know, and taking the mick out of them because he knows that Edwards deliberately makes up stories uh, to get clicks and sell papers uh, for the Telegraph. So take this with a pinch of salt. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't really take much notice of them uh, links that he is making. He's also making the link as well, saying that Newcastle are looking at Scott McTominay from Man United as well. Personally, you know, looking at them players, I wouldn't take McTominay. He's an absolute idiot, you know. Uh, we've got no dickheads policy here at Newcastle United and Scott McTominay goes right into that uh, bracket uh, of being a dickhead. Uh, so, you know, alongside the other players as well that Edwards has been linking to it, you know, I wouldn't take Conor Gallagher. He's not that great of a player. He looks pretty average in my view. Uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, you know, he's been out on loan so many times at Chelsea. I wouldn't take him. Uh, Hakim Zayic, he's a good player, but again, he's, you know, another one that has been linked to so many different clubs and I just wouldn't take him, to be honest. Uh, there's better options out there for the price that you'd have to pay to get them kinds of players to join with. Uh, you know, it's really not worth it. Um, you know, Castle are also looking at uh, one from Lyon, which is a right back uh, called Malo. Uh, Gusto, according to news out in France, uh, we are looking at 19-year-old right back called Malo Gusto. Uh, I don't know him personally. Uh, I haven't seen him play, uh, so I will have to go and check out that one and then come back uh, in a future video to, you know, let you know my thoughts on that one. But uh, he is being linked with the likes of Chelsea, Juventus as well. So, you know, he might be a decent player there. Uh, but of course Newcastle still looking at uh, for right back options Fresnada of uh, Real Valid as well uh, we're looking at Fresnada to come in he's really wanting to join Newcastle as well fantastic uh, right back he's highly regarded in Spain as well uh, you know with quite a few clubs out there in the European leagues looking to sign uh, Fresnada as well so you know if we could acquire him that would be amazing. Uh, also, Newcastle are still looking at as well. Ruben Neves uh, of Wolves. He has hinted it at wanting to move away from the model new as well. So that would be a great player to bring in. Fantastic uh, midfielder and knows how you know to play in the Premier League as well. He's got that Premier League experience uh, with him playing for Wolves. Uh, also, there's Milinkovic Savic as well, who we've already talked about on the channel in a previous video. Uh, of course, uh, with Sky saying that Newcastle have put in a 60 million euro bid from about 53 million pound, I think it is. Uh, once you convert that over to English shares, uh, pound sterling, you know, and that is a fantastic player. I've got to say, you know, Milinkovic Savic is a fantastic player. I've seen him play uh, for Lazio. He is a really good player. And he would allow, you know, for Bruno to be able to push higher up that field. Like I've said in the previous video where I talked about him alongside Ruben Neves uh, in that video as well. You know, so if you want to go hear me thoughts on uh, both of them players, uh, then do go check out that video. Uh, of course, 
uh, because I talk a lot about them in detail in that video. Uh, but, you know, them are the ones that are being uh, linked to it at the minute. There's also players being linked away from Newcastle as well with uh, news coming from Football, 24, uh, Football Insider 24-7. Uh, saying that, of course, Nottingham Forest are looking to bring in a new forward this month. And Chris Wood is on their radar as a player to be brought in. Now, looking at it, you know, this is a player that quite a few of us Newcastle United fans are saying does need to move on now. Uh, you know, you got brought in for £25 million last season uh, from Burnley. It was a pretty decent signing when you look at it, you know, from the wider picture. Uh, he came in, you know, he's played 39 games uh, for Newcastle last season. Of course, he played 17 games in the Premier League. Forward this season, he's played 18 games. Forward, he scored twice this season. He scored twice last season in 17 games. Forward, uh, you know, so he has done something for it, you know, uh, in the fact that he covered that void in the attacking position last season. He allowed, you know, for... Uh, to get some balls in the players, especially the game against Leeds, where he worked absolutely magnificently uh, with the likes of Maxi. Uh, you know, the partner work between the two in that game against Leeds was fantastic and allowed, of course, Newcastle to come away from that game uh, with a really good result as well. Uh, but... It is time for him to move on. Uh, you know, he definitely does need to move away from Newcastle now. He has done fantastic for with this season, you know, in the 18 games that he's been called upon. But he has, you know, wasted quite a few chances as well. Uh, you know, he's gotten in areas where he could have just slotted it away and scored for Newcastle. And he's absolutely skyrocketed it over the goal, uh, you know. And that is just something that we do not need uh, you know, up top, we need somebody that's going to be able to be composed in front of goal and slotted away coolly to get the, you know, goal for Newcastle and put Newcastle in the lead or extend the lead for Newcastle in the game. And unfortunately, there has been times this season, you know, where Chris Wood has skyrocketed it over uh, the bar, you know, uh, so... He's definitely one that's going to be needing to move on. Uh, Matt Ritchie, again, is another one that will be moving on, I'm sure. Uh, you know, so we definitely need to start looking at moving some of these players on, uh, try and get a little bit of money for them. Not that we need to, but at least try and get a little bit of money for these players. If we can get, say, maybe 10 million uh, to... 15 million for the likes of Chris Wood. I can't really say we're getting 15 million, but 10 million maybe for Chris Wood would be fantastic. Uh, if we can get, you know, a little bit off of uh, Matt Ritchie as well, that would be brilliant. But I think Matt Ritchie might retire with Newcastle now, uh, being that he's been here for so long. Um, of course, there's other players as well that definitely need to be moved on in this window but let us know your thoughts down in the comments below as always remember to like share subscribe to 100 percent max if you have liked uh this video then please do make sure to hit that a uh, like button down below down here uh, and also hit that subscribe as well if you're new around here or if you haven't done it yet uh, because i have seen that there is quite a few people that have not subscribed to the channel and they've been watching the channel for quite a while so if you could subscribe that would be absolutely fantastic as i'm on the road to 2k subscribers and i'm trying to hit that goal before the 12th of may which will be the sixth anniversary of the channel uh of course moving forward Um also you can Support the channel by donating to the channel as well. There is a super thanks down below. Uh, you just put in the donation that you want. Uh, and of course you do get put a comment with your donation as well. And I do reply to each and every comment that I can. Uh, of course. And you know just try and keep it friendly down in the comments section below. I have noticed there is quite a few people making some pretty negative comments. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, you are entitled to your opinion, but do keep your opinion polite. Uh, you know, don't be just putting nasty comments down there, slagging people off right, left and centre. Uh, you know, because if 
I do see them comments, then you will be, uh, you know, warned. And if you continue to do it, then you will be, of course, blocked from viewing the channel uh, in the future. Until next time, I'll see you all later. And how are the lads?